Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we spent some time on the Reach doing little things still left to do there, and most importantly, getting rid of all of my terror. But now I'm back in the Blue Kingdom, low terror, ready to go. So, let's go. First thing I want to do is turn in two prospects to the White Well, which are turned into the Stone Face Court. So, let's go from Sky Barnet clockwise around the edge, I suppose. It's going to be extremely lucrative. We're turning in four things of ours. That's okay, but not great. But five things of immaculate souls. Those are going to sell for... I'm not actually sure. Probably like 400 for each one, I would guess. Oh, I can go under this. I wondered why I wasn't on the map. Enclave of the Dead. Well... Oh, I can trade living food for gemstones. Well, I'm definitely going to do that. There's no reason to join the celebration, because I'll get dining with the dead, which will make it harder to leave. It reduces my terror, but my terror is only 2%, so not worth it. Trade living food for gemstones, which is a ridiculously good trade. One thing of supplies for a cask of Novartine gemstones. Uh-oh. Hey, you want to help here? <clears throat> no, the Lagoy does not care about those. Wrong way to boost. No, no, it does care about those. Also, I'm getting hit in the fray. Yeah, let's strip it for parts. 18 hole. Give it. Whew. That didn't go well. Please have uh, repairable. Yes. Okay. Okay. My hole's mostly back. Wait, are you shooting at me? Why are you suddenly interested in me? The red one. I thought I, I swear I went through a red one before and it didn't try to kill me. That was only the blue one. Uh, okay. Well, I'll kill you back. It's not really pursuing me, though. Maybe I won't kill it back. Maybe if it starts shooting at me again, I guess I will. Mm -mm. doesn't care about me. I'm not sure what that last shot was when everybody was dead.
here, Lagoy. I think. A narrow escape. During your recent altercation, a round of enemy fire bored clean through the bridge. No one was killed, but your crew are shaken. Their minds wander, their hands tremble. The question orders. Something must be done. Issue a ration of brandy and lie to them. <laughs> Only a 52% chance of success. Tell them everything will be fine. Death took its best shot and it missed. Shit. <clears throat> Instead of making them bellicose, the brandy makes them maudlin. They reminisce about the loved ones they might not have seen again. The chances they might have missed. The mood worsens. Get a good payday. 680 for that. Plus a selection of immaculate souls. Kind of ironic, I guess. Yeah, they're gonna sell for 460 each. Look at that. 2300 just straight up, plus two otherworldly artifacts. Beautiful. Ministry approved literature is a bargain. Heck yeah, take that all. Mm, oh, I'm pretty low on fuel, actually. I'm not gonna bother buying any Petrichor, because I've got more supplies but that I can get back at the bank. At Sky Barnet. Is there anything I could even do here that I would want to do? What is this? You unlock this with permission to enter the stone-faced court. 1,407? You needed 1,466 at most. That's a weirdly massive number. Yeah, I don't think we have anything to do there. <clears throat> I can try to get another Testament of Roses. That's about it, but I think I already have a couple of those. Let's go spend some time with the lovely spider people of Wellmouth. We had to leave last time because we had spiders crawling in our brain. Oh yeah, and they should be finished with the church, the psalmists that we delivered here. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Because <clears throat> they were encroaching on the territory of the spider people. Uh, yeah, let's see what happened. The Church of the Judas Psalm. The church stands dark and forbidding at the edge of the well. Check on them. Their wooden church stands completed at the well's edge, dark and ramshackle and icicle hemmed. A misbegotten church. The twice scorned priest stands at his altar, delivering something half curse, half sermon. The widows have promised to kill us if we don't leave, he roars, his knife gnarled fist raised. May their vittles turn to scorpions in their mouths. May their limbs atrophy, their minds unravel, their souls be damned. Once the sermon is over, he draws you aside. The psalmists are running perilously low on food. They need your help. Hmm. Yeah, refuse to help. This will condemn the psalmists to death. I mean, do I want to help them? Like, I don't particularly like them. I don't hate them. Can't they trade with the stone-faced court? Erd sits glimmering on the other side of the well. The graven have food to spare. <clears throat> the twice corn priest spits on the floor. The graven fear offending the widows too much to trade with us or give us work. Ah. No one. Yeah, everybody respects the widows too much or are afraid of the widows too much to do anything to help people that are messing with them. So they're just. The psalmists are just poison here. <laughs> like. The spiders want to drive them off. No one else wants to help them. They're pretty screwed if I don't help them. 
Maybe they should consider leaving the White Well. The Widows don't want them here. Their supplies are already vanishing. The relentless winds are scouring them to the bone. No, we've moved enough. This is where we must thrive or die. The Twicecorn Priest bows his head. And if we die, so be it. Hmm. Well, if I feed them, I have a feeling the widows are just going to kill them. I'm just fattening up the prey to then be eaten, but, uh... uh yeah, sure, offer to bring them supplies. You can't just let them starve. <clears throat> the priest nods, chewing his lip until blood trickles down his chin. Ew. Thank you, he says finally, through gritted teeth. He takes you down to the half-dug cellars and shows you their existing supplies. A few sacks of grain, some hanging strips of salted pork, a crate of teeth-cracking biscuits. This wouldn't be enough for a congregation half its size. They'll need more, a lot more. They've requested ten supplies. You needn't bring them all at once. It's a good thing I put a shit ton of supplies in the bank. But I don't have them on me right now. Well, I don't have all of them. As I said, I don't have to bring them all of it. Uh-oh. Spiders in my brain again. Uh, howling winds erupt from the frozen abyss, rattling roofs and chasing snow over mist-shrouded streets. Most of the situates, s silhouettes in the snow are statues cracked and mutilated by age. A few are not statues, but gaunt women in mourning veils who skitter suddenly into motion as you come near and fall in a silent line behind you. We've already read that before, but this is the thing that I think gets added when you have spiders in your brain. Soon I will shuck this place like a skin. Something is crawling uninvited through your mind. Actions in Wellmouth will increase terror. Get away from here. Hmm. Well, we've already watched the Widows in Terror, one of the failed dead, right? Isn't that how we got spiders in our brain? Or is it? It's when they did a some sort of a ritual or something. Is when I got this. <clears throat> Let's visit the matronly relict. I know it says get away from here, so maybe I should actually. Yeah, okay. Let's back off. But I'm fine here at the church, right? One parishioner is gnawing at a twig he found under the snow. If you don't bring supplies soon, the psalmists will starve. He looks even thinner and flintier than last you saw him. The wind and the hunger chip at him day after day, sharpening him like a knife. I came to this one in his dreams. I showed him the briefest glimpse of my majesty and he was mine. I think that's the spider in my brain talking. <clears throat> So I can't do a huge amount of supplies right now, because I don't have 10, but I can do a large amount. And it takes 5, that's fine, right? I mean, it's a pretty short jump back to Sky Barnet. Okay, yeah, you've brought a large amount of supplies. Enough to tame the hunger, to turn it from a raging beast into a grumbling companion. Let thy servant rejoice. Your crates are dragged out into the snow in a ragged, amid a ragged cheer. The priest proudly shows you that the psalmist's farming efforts are improving. They've somehow managed to force the frozen ground to produce a single, somewhat edible turnip. And thanks to your generosity, no one will have to eat it. <laughs> okay, let's leave for now. As you leave, the priest begins a sermon. Curses ring in your ears long after the church itself has been swallowed by the driving snow. So the thing is, anytime I go to Wellmouth, the spiders are in my brain and I need to leave. So should I just never come here? Let's visit the matronly relic. Just... Just to see... Mm. Oh, right, we can become the spider sweeper. That will allow me to become yoked. 
I already offered to help the widows drive off the psalmists. They denied me. Yeah, let's leave. Is my terror going to go up? It did not go up, thankfully. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go get some supplies from Sky Barnet for the psalmists. Bring them back here. Just got a cantankery, and a bowl cantankery too, which actually hurt me a little bit. And I see something strange off to the left side over here. What is that? Uncanny specimen, great. Yeah, what is that? That doesn't look normal. A slab, a stab of brilliance pierces the sky, a ray of incandescence thought of incandescent thought from the brow of its regent. Does it do anything to me? Should I be scared of it? It's so bright. Oh, I just gained a moment of inspiration, but also 10 terror. <laughs> a finger of the sun's Coruscating thoughts. Ugh. Endure. Fail. My god. I've been here like 10 seconds and already my tear is 58. Finger for the sun's curse. Uh, coruscating thoughts. Here's your engine. The light is dazzling. The notion's into. Okay. Oh, I think this gives me gems, right? Gotta wait a second. There they are. Heck yeah. I'm going to try any action I can do to lower my terror. Claim a trophy. I think I want to fail this, right? But I always succeed, and then it takes to me experience. Ah. I'm already beat up to hell. I need to get repaired. Claim a trophy. Fa Wait, that's good, right? Yeah. It fell. Hmm. We got one of our otherworldly artifacts appearing in my dream. I think I'm going to go with smash it. Reduce terror by 50, but increase your nightmares. I'm not going to be able to stay here for long if I don't do something drastic to decrease my terror. <coughs> Excuse me. Three purposeful blows with a lump hammer, and the artifact lies in pieces. You sweep the remains away. The crew are pleased. Yours weren't the only dreams the artifact had insinuated itself into. When next you dream, you are in a field of violet chrysanthemums. The artifact is there, too. No longer discreet, but vast. Fast as the face of a mountain, its shadow wide as night. Back to the psalmists with the supplies. And recruit a little bit of crew and full hole and all that good stuff. You all still alive? Yeah. Okay, they said they needed eight, right? And I gave them five, so I need to give them three more. You needed seven at most. Wait. Uh. A little bit confused about those numbers, but yeah, I think I need to give them three. Moderate amount. With some help from your crew, the psalmists drag crates of grain and biscuits and salted pork out into the snow. They're too exhausted to cheer and unpractised at it anyway. This provides a respite, mutters the priest. Gives me time to worry about other things, like the widows who prowl around our church at night, singing strange songs in a heathen tongue. They now have eight supplies in their stockpile. Yeah, that should be enough. I thought that would... Oh, they need to have ten. Oh, ten, not eight. Okay. Well, let's give him one twice then. This 
saw must finally have enough supplies to survive. For the foreseeable future, at least. We came close. The twice-corned priest is sharpening the knife encased in his withered hand. A few days longer and there would have been butchery. He puts down the whetstone. I have something to tell you. I suspect the widows are not just here to care for the failed dead. Something else dwells below. Something they worship and cultivate and feed. I think they need to be stopped before they wake it up. Return in two weeks. I need some time to consider our next course of action. <clears throat> Return after 15 days have passed and I gained a searing enigma. Yeah, I think they're right. Given the strange, very, very strange and disturbing thing we witnessed a while ago, the same thing that made a spider appear in our brain and seems to be sort of taking control and it sounded like some great entity was down there. I agree. I think we should stop them, actually. Again, I don't particularly like the psalmists, but if they want to help with that, then great. Let's get the hell out of here. Where to now? I guess just exploring, right? Well, actually, no, not exploring just yet. Now that our terror is low enough, I want to go do the Fortunate Navigator's quest. So we got to go back to Death's doorstep and continue further down the tunnel. I won't cut this because we're going to an area where we haven't really been very much. I put a crap ton of supplies in my bank, but I've already gone through so much of them. Not that I'm out, I'm okay, but I just thought that would last me forever. Instead, I think it's just going to last me for this visit to the Blue Kingdom. <coughs> Damn, almost every one of those hit. Nice. I think I saw another one just right over here, though. Right, is anything going to reduce terror? That's always going to be my question. Moment of inspiration or a vision of the heavens? I mean, that's more important than bronze wood, right? I have a lot of bronze wood. I don't really need money. Yeah. Sheaves of parchment. Vision of the heavens. Okay. There it is. Is that a senior one? I can't tell. I think they're all senior here. Yeah, I think it is. is to be very, very patient.
Ah. Oh, hello. I'm all right with crew. Let's try to loot the hold. Bulging sack. Two jumbles of undistinguished souls. Senior Scrivener. Sheaves of parchment. Four scraps of ancient knowledge. Nice. A wreck. I think mourning the dead would probably decrease my tear. 32. Yes. 27. Reduced it by 5%. Disturbance in the night. Oh, we got Langley Hall. Is that it? Perchance to dream. And now that's just increased my terror by 5%. <laughs> Thanks, Langley Hall. Oh, this music's wonderful. Patient as clay. I don't want to interrupt the music. I'm going to go this way, though, to try to get around and get around this, go up to death's doorstep just to explore a little bit more. Forge of Souls, so maybe that's the Forge of Souls. These citadels form the Lyceum, a grand library of the Sapphire King. The Rat Brigade chitter excitedly. Could they make more rats here? Your crew are alarmed. <laughs> More rats, more rats. Okay, well, I think we have like a million things to do at the Forge of Souls. Well, let's just start. A colossal many-towered citadel contains the Lyceum, an ancient library and rumored to hold the fabled Forge of Souls within its depths. The Court of Dust, a somber citadel of many towers, broods behind high bronze walls. A cloud of dust hangs over the towers. Occasional slivers of gemstone in the clouds sparkle as they catch the light. This is the Lyceum, a library of legend and guarded fortress of knowledge. It's forbidden to all but a select few. Hmm. Wait, this is unlocked when my status is invisible. Wait, does my status get reset when I leave and come back to the Blue Kingdom? Because I was anti-deceased before when I left. <clears throat> Whoa, something with our Blemigan? We haven't had any interaction with our Blemigan since the beginning of the game. Observe your Blemigan. It has followed you from the engine. Its tendrils probe the ground. What is it doing? The Blemigan flattens itself onto the floor and lies still for several moments. Abruptly, it stands and makes its way over to your feet. It taps the tendril on the ground meaningfully. You've brought it to the correct place, but it requires more. The Forge of Souls needs to be operational. Is it going to make more of its kind, you think, once it's operational? Am I going to be able to get the Forge of Souls working? 
wander the courtyard. A few spirits wait hopefully in line for gates that don't open. Officials sometimes pass through on their way to somewhere more important. As you walk down a crowded thoroughfare, you notice the masked spirits shuffling to one side and dropping reverently to their knees. Some are raising unlit candles. Some have retrieved broken hourglasses from their robes. Others are scrawling complex symbols on the floor in chalk. The cause of the commotion appears at first glance to just be another spirit in a porcelain mask, taller than the others, his stride more sure. Luminous energies swirl at his feet. Oh, it can do three different things. Ask the name of spirit for guidance. <clears throat> My litigator, continue walking without looking. Attempt to mimic the surrounding spirits. Um, how do I pronounce that? Obeisances? Hmm, 78% chance of success. Well, I mean, let's ask the nameless spirit. Alright, they actually know what's going on, probably. Should you be kneeling as well? A servitor of the Blue Kingdom, murmurs the nameless spirit, gently pushing you to your knees and handing you a stick of chalk. One of the Sapphire King's most trustworthy servants, only a step below the Lagoy. There are many possible ob uh, obeisances, but the simplest is to scrawl your name in the gutter and sweep it out as it walks past. You do as instructed. The servitor doesn't do, uh, doesn't so much as glance your way. In moments, it turns the corner and is gone. All around you, spirits clamber to their feet and resume their business. Servant of the Sapphire King. Okay. <clears throat> oh, right. I have two prospects for the Forge of Souls. Caged catches. Five of them. And Bronzewood. And Ministry Approved Literature as a bargain. I'll take all of that. Adventurer's Request One of the first Londoners to cross the avid horizon, the venturer skulks by the forge collecting shards of Navaratine. He parts reluctantly with the least of these. Let's approach the gates. A few lonely spirits mill about in the courtyard, unable to pass the gates. Perhaps you'll feel fair differently. The gates are high as tall cedars, Masked faces, carved into the bronze, gaze down upon the courtyard impassively. Beyond the gates, the towers of the Lyceum rise higher still, forlorn and foreboding. For want of a knocker, you pound your fist against the bronze. A few spirits turn their heads in wonder, but nothing happens. Then slowly, a thin grate shrieks open in the lower part of the left gate. A skeletal face peers out. You are neither yoked nor ephemera. The Lyceum is not for you. The great shrieks closed. Okay, yoked or ephemera. Well, I know where to become yoked with the the spider. What do they call the spider? Spider something. I'm just, I'll just call them the spider people. I can get yoked there. I'm not sure about ephemera. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we are going to look for the Forge of Souls.